Well, I officially did zero on the car yesterday. I ended up going to the grocery store and doing laundry and just taking care of things around the house. It snowed all day, so it was a nice day to do that kind of stuff. It's a nice day out today, but like I say, I did zero. So today I'm going to start masking. And I got the spatter paint. So that's kind of what it is. And you don't shake spatter paint, you stir it. And you spray it with a cheap gun like a made in Taiwan gun or a, just a, the cheapest gun you can get, your primer gun, whatever. But you can see that almost looks like a trunk in this car, doesn't it? I also got an R and that is untouched. That's just out of the package and on the hood. So I guess that was pretty good for, for $13. It's in really nice shape. It's as nice as these letters. Yeah, I'm super happy. There we go. Another short video, obviously, but I thought I'd just make a video and so I can put it up. Yeah, the paint comes out a lot nicer when I can do it outside in the light and stuff. I mean, look at that. That's like perfect metallic flow. One little bug right there, which is no big deal. And uh, that'll be covered by the bumper, and that's on the top of the paint, so it'll probably flick out. But there we be. All untaped. It came out really, really nice. Wish the hood came out as nice. Some of the tape that I unmasked it with matches the fender and the door and everything perfect. I took a bit of the uh, paper with tape and went over to the fender, but doesn't that look a lot better? Yeah, it looks a uh, hundred percent better. And those little edges around here. They'll get painted when I paint the rear quarter panel. I'll tape off there and you can see I kind of faded that out on both sides. And I'll sand and then I'll tape up in here somewhere. Fade it that way and then uh, I can buff that out. But that came out. Wow. Yeah. That's why I like painting outside. You get good vision, good light, you know, for good vision. Something about the sun helps it come out nice so I'm gonna let that dry a couple of days and then I'm gonna finish sanding in here and spray that and then I'm ready to start priming and painting the rear quarter panels I guess we can take a walk around look at the, the stuff all painted up You know, nothing's lined up, like I say, just hanging there. And that's, you know, because I'm going to be taking this door off yet. And I'll get everything lined up after everything's painted. That'll, when all the bugs and pollen are out. But what a difference that, that makes sitting out in the sun. Yeah, it's going to look good all finished up. All right, it's going to be a short video. That's why I'm just making the extra little bit around it here. There we go, a little video of under the hood with the sun out. With the hood up. Get over on the sun, you know, so there we go. I got to get that cowl strip so I can paint that too. All right, I'm going to wrap this ultra short video up just so everyone and my dad and everybody can see the new paint in the trunk jam. I might uh, might take the trunk lid out and do some sanding on it outside. We'll see. I'm going to put the car back in the garage. It's paint's pretty much all tacked up to where it's dry to the touch. So I'm, you know, it tacks up a lot quicker. Oh, I got masking tape on there tacks up a lot quicker when uh, when it's out in the air. We've got air movement around it, some sun. But anyway, that's it for this video. 
If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. If you want to see this neat old galaxy looking like a new car, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.